Let's go NEO back here at home. It's not often that we see things other than a plane or a cloud in our sky. But today the sky will be filled with hot air balloons all to help kick off the enshrinement week at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Our Caitlin Hunt is live for us now from Kent State Stark Campus. Caitlin, good morning. Quite a beautiful experience going on there with the hot air balloons. It is, Tessa. I mean, as you mentioned, it's a beautiful day out. There's not a cloud in the sky, but there's dozens of balloons up in the air, and I'm standing in the field where they all launch from, and I'm here with Paul, who is the balloon meister and oversees a lot of the things that are going on with hot air balloons. So, Paul, good morning. How are you? Hello. I am doing great. We had a great flight this morning. Awesome. And let's talk about this balloon meister title. What is involved in it? What, what exactly do you do? Well, I, I, I have a couple of uh, degree meteorologists that help me put together a forecast for the flight time. And then we craft a competitive task for the pilots. And that, that consists of taking a, a little marker and dropping it on a target and more or less closest to the center wins. And then the pilots go out and, and try to get the closest mark. That's awesome. And as we mentioned, you know, it's so much more than just the beautiful view that we get in the morning. There is a competition going on. But Paul, what is it like when these, you know, pilots are up in the air? What are they experiencing as they fly over Canton? Uh, the peace and beauty of just floating along in the atmosphere. That's really the magic of it. But while we're doing comp competition, you can't forget about stuff. So you're constantly trying to adjust your height up and down to move right or left because balloons don't have a steering wheel. And the only way that we can steer is by finding a different wind at a different altitude, either up or below us, to get, help us go right or left. Yes, and how far exactly are they going out? Because as a Canton native, I know they're all over the city. They can land just about anywhere, right? Oh, yeah. We don't necessarily take off from airports and landed airports. We take off from your front yard and land in somebody else's backyard. So a normal flight is about 6 to 10 miles. That's a really good flight. Some flights are a little longer. Some flights are a little shorter. But that's a nice average. Yes, and it's a wonderful event. We've been out here this morning. There's some more balloon launches this evening at 6 o'clock, correct, Paul? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's still a ton of fun. It's still, you're not missing out on anything. So come on down. You can see balloons. We, as we mentioned earlier, there's some food going on and live entertainment as well. So such a great day of events here, Tessa. And Caitlin, thank you. It's a free day, too. <laughs> hey, you better tell your folks to look out the window, see if a balloon lands in their yard. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. We appreciate you. All right. If you missed the deets, here they are. The Balloon Classic happening at the Kent State Stark campus. Admissions free. It runs through 10 o'clock tonight. Fireworks, too. Going to be a lot of fun out there. There's also going to be more hot air balloon rides offered tomorrow morning from 6 until 8 o'clock.